So going back to our map here. So one of the things we are familiar with in ARC catalog and how it works with ARC map, uh, in a similar way, we have a catalog view in ArcGIS Pro. So here, if I go to view, I say catalog view. This is a similar type of look and feel of what you're used to with Arc Catalog. And here, if I go into my maps, I'm gonna see I have one map. That's this one here that's open. I can add multiple maps. I can say new map here, it'll create one and it'll open it by default. So this catalog view is kind of a way to control behind the scenes on what's going on with your pro project. Toolboxes, the things that we're kind of familiar with. In this case, uh, when, I, when I started my pro project, it went ahead and created a default geodatabase. This geodatabase is tied to my pro project. And you can see the little home icon next to it. That means it's set as the default. Automatically creates that anytime you do a new pro project. Um, so that's kind of just kind of a nice way to have, you know, right away if I start creating layers, I'm able to just have a place where it dumps them into there. Uh, but in this case, what I'd like to do is Let's say I wanted to add a database. I could, I could click add and it's gonna add a, a new database connection. If I go and navigate to where that's at, I can connect to any uh, geodatabase there. Or in this case, I'm just gonna do new and we're gonna create a new file geodatabase for this. And I'm just gonna call it my demo. And again, some of this, you know, familiar from arc map and arc catalog. I'm gonna do a new feature data set. And as it creates this feature data set, you'll see it's it's using uh, the geoprocessing window over here on the right. So in this feature data set, I'm gonna call this uh, stormwater. And then I'm gonna define my coordinate system. And we'll go and do our uh, State plane, we'll do NAT 83 US feet, and then we're in Illinois West is where we're at. So I'll select that one there. I'm gonna go ahead and define a vertical coordinate system while I'm at it. And we'll do nav D. In this case, I'm gonna do nav D 88 height US feet. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And basically now what it's doing is you see it ran there, created my feature data set under my new My Demo Geo database. Now I wanna come in here, let's say I wanna add my new feature class. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, again, we're back here on the right side, create feature class, and I'm gonna call the first one SW Structures, and we'll call that a point, and then we'll click Finish. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and over here again, and I'm gonna create uh, under there, I'm also gonna create another one called pipes. And here we have SW pipes and I'll call that polyline, I'll make it line. And then I'll do finish 